Welcome to August Lico Challenge. Today's problem is count good nodes in binary tree. Given a binary tree root, a node x in the tree is named good if in the path from root to x there are no nodes with a value greater than x itself. Return the number of good nodes in the binary tree. So say that we're looking at this node here, 1. We can see that it's not going to be good, right? Because the path from the root to this node here, this node itself is going to be a value that's less than the path that we've taken so far, right? So that's not gonna be considered good. But this one would, because every value we've seen so far is either less or equal to it. So essentially what we're trying to do is take the max value that we've seen so far and check to see if that's uh, less or equal to the number itself. If it is, then we can increase some sort of counter and say this node is good and just continue down the path all the way to uh, its leaf. So that's what we'll do. We'll write we'll write, write a depth for search starting at the root and pass in the max value that we've seen so far. Uh, if that value is less or equal to the node itself, then we'll increase our counter. Otherwise, we won't. So what we'll do is set a self.output starting at zero. And we're going to create a depth for search here. We're going to pass in the node as well as the max value that we've seen so far. Because that's the only thing that matters. We don't really care about the path itself. Just what's the max node value that we've seen so far. So if, well, if not node, that's how we'll end our recursion. Uh, what we'll do is say, if node.value is, well, actually we need to first set the max value, right? So uh, the max value is gonna be set to the max of max itself and this node value itself here. And actually we do that later, Never mind. We do that after here. So if node.value is less Oh, uh, let's see. Yeah, so if it's greater or equal to, no. Let's see. Yeah, so if it's greater or equal to, if it's greater or equal to the max value, then we're going to increase our self output by one. Then store the max value here. And then we're going to just recall our buffer search with the node.left. Pass in the max value there and hold that right here, pass in the max value here. And you can think like every time we go down some different path, this max value that we're passing in could be different, right? Because we'll, we'll be um, changing it every time we go down here. So all we have to do now is call our depth for search starting at the root. And we're going to pass in a float with the negative infinite number because uh, the root itself will always be good, right? And finally, just return our self dot output. So let's make sure this works. All right, that looks like it's working. So let's submit it and accept it. So pretty easy question. This is going to be O of n time complexity. Uh, same with space, and and that's it. All right, thanks for watching my channel. Remember, do not trust me. I know nothing.